Which you guys today we're taking a look at how to add more security protection to Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now if we go into the settings panel here and then go over to privacy and security then go up to Windows security inside here we're going to go open up Windows security. Inside this area you should see an area called device security and there's a yellow triangle on this one here go to your settings pane here open this up and you should see memory integrity so memory integrity prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes so just toggle this on and you should see that it needs to restart your pc now if you're having issues enabling this then you may need to go into your bios to enable this feature so you'll be able to then come back to this location and turn it on because sometimes what happens is you'll restart and it will turn itself off and that's because you need to enable a certain feature in the BIOS. I'll quickly show you what that is. So first restart your PC to enter the BIOS by keep tapping F2 and delete key. One of those two keys should get you into the BIOS. Go to your advanced options here. Sorry for the poor quality. My capture card has packed up. But once you go into here, go to advanced up the top of the menu system here. So once you click on advanced here, we should be on main, but we need to click on advanced. So let me just quickly click on this one here. And uh, you should see it here. There we go. So click on there and we should now go to CPU configuration on my motherboard. So it's already on there right now. So click on this one here. And this is your CPU configuration. Once this is open, come down and we're looking for uh, this mode here, which is called SVM mode. This should be enabled. If it's disabled, you will not be able to enable uh, integrity, memory integrity feature inside Windows. So make sure that is enabled. Click F10 and save your settings and restart your computer. Once you get back to memory integrity, that should now be enabled. Or if you haven't enabled it yet, go back into your settings pane and go into privacy and security, back into Windows security, and then go into open Windows security. And you should now see there's a green check mark there. If you're still having issues and you can't enable it, uh, then I'll show you what you can do. So basically, you should see core isolation has now been enabled. You can click on this one here. Memory integrity is now on, and you're being protected from. Uh, malware and other nasty malicious code that can be uh, used against you on your PC. Now, if you're seeing incompatible drivers here and it's using some sort of driver issue listed up on the screen right here, then you can go ahead and remove that particular device from the system until you get it enabled. And basically, that is stopping you from enabling the feature. So basically go to that location and uninstall that piece of software or driver that is causing that issue. And then you should be able to enable memory integrity. Once that's done, you should have full protection on your system. And this will really eradicate a lot of malware issues with Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I'll show you exactly what uh, memory integrity is. We check out the Microsoft website here, Windows Security uh, provides built-in security options to help protect your device from malicious software attacks. If we come down in the core isolation here, it will tell you exactly what core isolation is. It provides an added protection against malware and other attacks by isolating computer processes from your operating system and devices. Now, memory integrity is a feature of core isolation by turning on the memory integrity setting you can help prevent malicious code from accessing high security processes in an event of an attack. So that is really important to have that enabled. Anyway, that is just going to be about it for this video. Just a super quick fast video on how to enable memory integrity inside Windows 11 and Windows 10. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you on our Discord server for a chat or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.